I'm Adam Harry with JR. And we're back with another Vols unboxing. We Today. have got the Warhammer Underworlds Shade Spire expansion. We've got the Sepulchral Guard for the the uh, Grand Alliance of Death. These guys are Nagash's best friends. Um, he <laughs> invites them to his birthday party. Is that what happened? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think so. Maybe he's, I guess he's Nagash. So is this I guess his birthday? His death day party? Bingo. Yeah, there okay. it is. Um, uh, we're pretty excited about this one. Uh, again, this is one of the expansions uh, for Shade Spire, one of the, one of the factions coming out. Um, we got it early here. We're going to show it off, right? Even though I am terrified because they are just skeletons, uh, a.k.a. the most frightening thing in the world. Uh, yeah. And there are seven of them in this box, yeah. so I may just yeah. run away. Um, well, keep that in mind. You know, we, we've, seen the, we've seen the Stormcasters, three of those guys. There's five Blood Reavers. Now we're getting seven skellies. That's pretty cool, man. Um, and personally, I'm actually really excited about this because this is the first time in a very long time we're seeing some new skeleton minis. Yeah, we're getting to see cool. them like get some upgrades from the uh, <laughs> man uh, uh, from not that much further along than like the Hero Quest skeletons. <laughs> you know, what? we're just gonna go with these. So uh, that said, we're, we're we should open pause. this up. We've already, we've already. There's no plastic. There's no today, plastic wrap so on these guys. This box. There is a, there's a sticker though. There's a sti oh, I've been fooled. They've tricked us all. Hang on, check this out. We're gonna Whoa. do this one live. Dun, dun, dun. Guys, you get to see this happening live I in real time. I just cut the box, and I don't oh. even care because we're we're keeping this. It's true. Boom! It's oh, ripping. Brutal. Take that. Take brutal. that. Brutal. Now it can't ship it back. Ha! <laughs> it's ours forever. All right. What's so going on? Oh, it's box. upside down. Boom! Whoa! Get out! All right, here we go. Uh, okay. Are you afraid of skeletons? Yeah, I can Ooh. do this. Ooh. 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 Okay. 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 Uh, <laughs> you can do it, Jr. There's the guy yeah. with a scythe. They're on sprue, so they can't get you. Okay. Here, let's take those two out real quick. Uh, let's see what else is in here real fast before we go any further. We have the instructions, instructions uh, and your decks. Oh, Whoa. I thought they were in plastic. One of them one is of them in plastic. Is, one of them, one of them is not. Okay. Uh, it's like a classic riddle. One of these decks can only lie, and the other one can only tell the truth. It's true. One of these is in plastic. One of them is... Which oh, God, is everywhere it? else. Hold on. I, need, I just need to ask him. Would the other deck say that that deck is wrapped in plastic? Problem it's, solved. It would say it's fantastic. All right, so uh, I've got these out. I'm going to pull these aside. Let's yeah, let's take a look at the sprues real quick. Here. Let's just do one sprue at a time, and I'm going to make JR handle them because he's okay, terrified of the Okay, why? Hey, me. Go. All right. Um, <laughs> this one is uh, fine. They're good. They're, They're great so skeleton. They, they okay. uh, look like they've got a lot of cool details um, on there. Uh, they their shield is gorgeous. Like I love this spear, and I'm trying not to focus on the bony hands or the grinning, laughing, mocking skulls that are a reminder that there's a skeleton inside of you just waiting for you to get dead so it can eat <laughs> you and escape. Um, is that what they're doing? That's what they're doing. That's the no, reality that we the all live with. Have. Yeah, um, there are uh, four different. Are three different guys on this one. Yeah, you can um, see the different bases. I, I do want to say again, it's the same hard plastic. I'm just looking at the mini here. Same hard plastic that we've come to expect from GW. It's just a, the, the cream color for the bones. Oh, yeah. watch out there. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> all right. uh, they're, all, they're all armed and equipped differently because they're all each their own individual characters. Yeah. Uh, you've got a guy with a spear, a guy with a mace, and a guy with a scythe. That's really cool looking. Yeah, he's wicked cool looking. So, you Clip and clean these like normal. You can see the detail on that shield. Yeah, absolutely. It's just ridiculous. Uh, well, even on the scythe too, if we can, um, it's notched and, and pitted and weathered. Uh, like they're very much the embodiment of the undead warriors yeah. who've been around for who knows how long. Yeah. Uh, that would be the servants of Nagash. Let's take a look at the other spruce. Coming at you. Boo! Boo! Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> this this guy has his shield on his back. Uh, so he's probably carrying like a big sword. I think he's got probably I a think claymore he's that, dude. Yeah, claymore Maybe. dude. I'm gonna bet. But it's really cool. You can see, all, like again, the weapons are are rustically pitted looking. They're uh, super dynamic yeah. guys too. Um, like, These are some really great looking skeletons. This guy is <laughs> rushing forward. It's very. Uh, uh, yeah, Harry Hausian. That's exactly what I was looking for. Like, <laughs> like the guy with the the big sword and the shield. Like, like this guy right here. He looks yeah. like something right out of Clash of the Titans. Oh, I love that movie. Yeah. So, yeah, these are fantastic undead looking skeletons. Okay, I'm gonna move them away. Yeah. Let's take a look at the two uh, decks real quick, uh, that you that you come with. Well, actually, 
So you get the two decks. We pull the plastic off one. I kind of did this backwards. Let me show off the seven undead characters real quick. Yeah. So these are the these are the guys that are gonna make up your warband, and we're gonna go go through them real quick. Sure. Now so we can see a little bit easier. We have um, the the sepulchral warden. That's the leader. You can tell because he's got the um, he's got the spear, the shield, and the crown. He's got the crown on his card. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got the champion, mm -hmm. harvester. Oh, that's Jared's favorite. I can tell. The petitioner. That's that's like uh, Captain Harryhausen. <laughs> Another petitioner. Another, Another petitioner. petitioner. And uh, then finally, the, the Prince, Prince of Dust. Dust. Something's telling me that these guys are kind of like just mooks who hang yeah. around and probably fuel things when they, yeah, they are returned to the battlefield. So even if you KO them, they come back later. Oh. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. So. When they so when they do come back, that's when they get the glory, and you flip them over, uh, and they get, and again you can see the 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 attack goes up for these, man, inspired, and that's that's what's called getting inspired. So. Yeah, they they go all super saiyan when when the thing triggers. <laughs> wow, yeah, they do go super saiyan. Cool. They they are much tougher, but you can see they all have different abilities in the text boxes and things like that. Yeah, uh, some of them hit on hammers, which are more common than swords. Mm -hmm. uh, but some of them have, you know, different damages and ranges and things like that. So this looks like a pretty cool looking, uh, cool looking force. Yeah. They're not particularly tough. Uh, most of these guys, like he's only, he's got four wounds. Mm -hmm. uh, these guys have three, and then the, and the little goons have two. And no armor. Yeah, they're 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 dodgy, which is a very low probability thing. Yeah. Uh, so they're probably gonna get KO'd and come right back. That's, which is, but that's what you want. Yeah, <laughs> it is what you want. So let's go ahead and clear those cards off real quick. All right. We'll take a look at the uh, the glory cards real fast. These are the cards you're going to kind of uh, have a deck of to try to score them. So battle without end. Again, uh, just different cards that you get the glory points when you complete the objectives only cards. Mm -hmm. So if you hold every objective, you get five. That one's pretty cool. Oh, that's because they've calmed the city. Yeah. <laughs> you mean claimed it? Oh, they've claimed it. They've yeah. calmed the board by claiming the city. <laughs> Fearless in death. Uh, March of the Dead, more bodies, and you get the idea. They're just they play differently. They have a different. Uh, see, these are actually generic ones, mm -hmm. but these are the unique ones. But and the unique ones help um, kind of give you a feel of how they're gonna play. Totally. Um, and these are really cool because these are these are new objectives that I haven't seen before. Um, so score this in the end of the phase if you hold objectives one and two, so cool. you get two points. So uh, that's pretty cool. And again, those those generic ones you can use in any of the. The glory Any decks. Of the decks. Yep. And then we've got the other deck here. Yeah, we've got the upgrades. Cool. Uh, and honestly, I don't know if these are extra cards or the ones that were in the deck, so we're just going to show them all off. I think these might have been extra cards, but these are some upgrades. Whoa, come back here. See, they want to escape. Well, they, they are. They're just like my skeleton wants to get out. Exactly. <laughs> Deathly Charged can only be played on the champion. You get different things like that. Grim Cleave. Assumed command can only be given to the prince. Right. Uh, ancient commander can only be given to the warden. Uh, this one gives him an action, uh, an action ability. Choose uh, three other friendly fighters. Make move actions with these fighters. Wow. This is not allow a fighter to move twice in a phase, though. Oh, but that does let you kind of move someone up, which is important outside of their activation. Uh, yeah. Keep in mind, you only get the twelve actions per game. Uh, yeah. Per, you get three, four per round. And there's only three and, rounds. And there's seven guys. So. <laughs> so exactly. Some of these guys are gonna be sitting on the back line for a little bit, maybe. Well, those well those petitioners are gonna be great for getting yeah. those assists. Here's some extra cards. Interesting that we see Skaven on those cards. Um, Illusionary fighter, time trap, ceaseless attacks, clawing, clawing hands. hands. These are these are skeletal. These are yep, they sure uh, are undead are only. Okay. <laughs> Dance macabre. Grasping hands. Those Jared's favorite. Look at that one. Oh Whoa. no, no, I don't wanna. <laughs> Spectral form. You get the idea. It gives him a different play style. Uh, different uh, upgrades oh, there's as even well. More upgrades. Oh yeah, there's a ton of ton of cool stuff so here. So you like get the full faction treatment uh, yeah. with with one of these boxes. You've got enough to like super customize these guys. Yeah, you're, when you get the box, the upgrade kit, you're you're gonna get all the miniatures you need. You're gonna get a custom deck for that warband uh, that will allow you to play this warband. Uh, let you tweak the warband, get get used to playing it. Let you and tweak then, your other warbands if yeah. you have more. If you'll have more cards, the, the card pool gets deeper. I can Ooh. see myself wanting to put some of those tactical objectives in the, the Blood Reavers, personally. 
Yeah, absolutely. Because uh, they have the bodies to be able to score against you. Pretty cool stuff. Well, that's been the uh, Sepulchral Guard for you for Warhammer Shadespire. Pretty cool stuff. I'm Adam Harry. I'm JR. We're both from Bulls. Thanks for watching. Oh.